Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Boyfriend Dungeon. <laughs> so, I just want to say, like, last episode, Eric has some issues. Alright? I wasn't expecting Eric to go full-on, like, psycho on me. <laughs> I think Eric is going to go from the bestie basket into the, you need to get the fuck out. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> let's go ahead and check our text messages and go on some other dates because I know there's other swords and stuff that we got to interact with. Even though I wish I could be 100% exclusive to Sunder, I can't because I got to check out the other swords. <laughs> All right, so it looks like there's no other messages. Okay, yeah, that's right. And then our Jesse's gonna set us up with with another date. I remember now. He's gonna set us up with another date, and it's gonna be hopefully not um, as weird as the last date I went on. <laughs> All right. Ooh, where are we gonna go? Oh, you know, let's go to the gym. What's at the gym? Oh, what's at the gym? Oh, wait, what? Oh, can I go to the gym with Sunder? Yes. Oh, Sunder, we can always improve. I already worked on my abs today. What's... We can work on legs. I We can... You can... You can watch me work on my legs. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So, so, is this... Oh, wait, is this how we set our stuff? Oh, really? I was expecting something more. I'm actually kind of disappointed. Man, whatever. Okay. Okay, I know there was somewhere else. I'm not going to you, Eric. Um, <laughs> I know there was somewhere else. Ooh, ooh, shop. Let's see. It looks like the Los Angeles Ballet Company has come to town. Ooh. This is exp- I only have $43! This, this shit's expensive! Dude, like, I am dirt poor! No, fuck no, leave the shop. The machine displays a picture of a hand waving. Oh yeah, bye. Wow, okay. I guess I could buy date tickets? See, that's cool. I like the whole dating element of this. This is cool. Yeah, Pacifica Park. Wasn't there somebody that I had to go to? There it is! You arrive at the park, but you don't see anyone at first. Then you notice a metallic gleam on a bench nearby. Uh, hello? Oh! Ooh, flashy! Hi, Valeria! Ah, that's better. Hmm. She stops and gives you a piercing look up and down. Huh? Hey, wow. I really didn't get a proper look at you in the dunge. I'm a straight sword wielder, okay? So we can be besties, yeah? You're cute. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate the compliment, but... Um... Yeah, that, that's... I don't know what to say here. Um, <laughs> that's direct. I'm a direct kind of person. Just tell me if it ever bothers you, though. Okay. Thanks. By the way, thanks for meeting me in public. I know you're the one who rescued me, but I still don't know how I got down there. Or how my blade got chipped. I'm an... I'm... Oh. In an ironic twist, someone's clearly backstabbed me, so I'm a little jumpy. Besides, safety first. Just in case you're an axe murderer. Huh. Though, I suppose you're more likely to just turn out to be an axe. Right. Not that it'd be a problem if you were. That'd be hypocritical, given my own. She leans closer and lowers her voice dramatically. What? situation right so what is it you know your deal you can tell me I won't judge you <laughs> I just prefer 
to know up front before anything happens. What do you mean anything happens? We're gonna be just best friends that we call and I can give you the deets on, you know, things I do with Sunder. <laughs> um, so something's going to happen? Oh, come on, we both know why you came here, what you're hoping for. Wait, what? No. How do I respond to this? Do we? Why did you? We do? I don't know what to pick because in, if I put do we, it's like me being playful with it. Like, oh, do we? Or, you know, like we do, that's me being direct being like, yeah, we do. Or, you know, like, why did you? It's like, why did you like did you did you want to do something like i i feel like i'm being set up here um why did you <laughs> for the same reason you did of course a man approaches eyeing you suspiciously uh can we help you sir hey. everything all right v yeah yeah everything's peachy thanks see you later the man stares you down a moment longer before moving on Okay, if you see, you, you already have a man that likes you. So you just need to go ahead and back off me. And you can have, you know, have relations with this grungy, very uh, detailed looking man. Um... <laughs> Sorry, that's a friend. <laughs> Checking in to see I haven't been axe murdered yet anyway. Look, don't take this the wrong way. <sighs> but your story is too convenient. You're from out of town, a newbie, never dated before. Yet you're also charming and apparently great at combat. Something doesn't add up. Uh, thank you? The frown doesn't quite leave her face. Hmm. You're smooth, and I don't mean that entirely as a compliment. The truth is we barely know each other. She stands. You know you have to say something or you'll never see her again. Believe what you want. Mm -hmm. You almost can't believe what comes out of your mouth, but Valeria's eyes warm a little. I usually do, but I came to Verona Beach for a new start. To make new friends. I feel like I have no choice on unlocking the, the first love rank with the sword. But I need to make it clear to her that we're not going to be a thing. And if you turn out to be an evil mastermind, well, keep your enemies close, right? Right? <laughs> C'est la vie. Okay, goodbye. Would you like to offer a gift? No. <laughs> gave her the bangles no because if i give her a gift then that's just gonna be like hey by the way here's a gift i'm sending mixed signals bye <laughs> you decide not to give a gift for now yeah Ciao. with one last worry look she walks away she she stalks away through the park all right bye, -bye. you head home i think that's for the best on your way home you find a rose on your doorstep <gasps> is it from sunder the note reads thinking of you Eric, you need to go. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? You carry it inside. Thinking of you, Eric, what the f- No. All right, Jesse, just give me- Oh, okay, three, three, okay. Almost got you another date, but I need some info. Be honest. Okay, Jesse, what? Would you rather get to know a guy who's buff or sweet? Oh, oh. Swords only. <laughs> oh, do I want? Do I want a buff guy? You know, cause, cause you know, I'm, t I'm, I'm kind of, I'm short. You know, I'm tiny. Like, I'm a chunky, tiny girl. I want, I like big buff men. <laughs> I want to be able to smother me and throw me around. Um, 
sweet guys are nice, but sometimes, you know, sweet guys, sweet guys can't, can't hit it off right at sometimes, at some points. Give me buff. Give me buff. You know what? Let's go buff. Let's go buff. Let's go buff. Yeah, let's go buff. Okay, well, it was a trick cue because this dude is buff and sweet. His name is Jonah and he's the best. Oh, okay. You date him then. <laughs> um. All right. Uh, approved. We'll go on a date with him. I don't mind. Okay, just so you know, uh, we used to date a while back. Way before Samantha, he was really fun. He'd be a good friend, I think, no matter what happens. On second thought, I'm in love with someone else. Um, <laughs> the, the fuck? Why are you giving me your ex for? Like, what? I don't want to eat. I don't want to date your ex. It'll just be a friendly meeting at first. No pressure. Talk to you soon. Jesse, what the fuck is wrong? Jesse has issues. Jesse is that crazy cousin that just has issues. I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna just make peace with that. <laughs> All right, Valeria. Next time, a real date? One where I don't accuse you of being a murderer or an axe, though I knew a, a nice one once. Anyway, I think my blade is mostly healed. Um, congrats. Thanks. I'll let you know when I think of a date we can go on. Let's go to the dungeon in the meantime. No. <laughs> no. No, thank you. Um, Eric, Eric, Eric. Hey, what's up? Having a good day? Don't send me things. No need to thank... <laughs> a woman like you deserves appreciation. My business is doing well, so I'm generous. Come by the shop sometime if you don't hate me. I am never stepping foot in your shop. I I am never stepping foot in your shop. Fuck no. I'm going to make it a mission to never, ever go to his shop. Ever. Fuck no. Okay, let's... Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> All right. So it looks like we have a bit of downtime. And I made some progress here, which is nice. So let's go ahead and go deeper into Zidunge. <laughs> a Verona Mall. Let's go. Floor seven. Smells like fresh meat. Let's do it. Oh, oh yes, Sunder. Oh, your voice is so refreshing to hear. You have no idea. So refreshing, it threw me off. Oh yeah, that's right, that's right. I forgot, I forgot, I forgot about this place. Ooh, I forgot about these guys. Owie. You'll be fine, Sunder. I'm the one that's getting hurt. You'll be fine. <laughs> Alright. Ooh, challenge. We got this, we got this. Let me just... Occupy these real quick. Yeah, okay, let me just... <laughs> Let's try this challenge. Ooh! Nice, nice. Let's go. Hell yeah. We're doing good. Dude, I'm a little rust though. Eat some fire. There you go. That's right. Eat my fire. Let's take a sec to catch our breath. But Sunder, we already here before. Actually, no, we were here at this ice cream stand before. Remember, I died prematurely on this floor because I wasn't prepared. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, nice. 
nice plastic okay so weird just like keeping quiet while I play <laughs> especially like fighting these mobs in, in the dungeon um did we explore everything I could have here Everything else is where I've been already. E, let's go to Z next level. That is so bullshit. I hit way before your whatever. Whatever. That's so bullshit. Oh my god! I'm literally doing okay. Those things are gonna kill me. No, Sundra, I'm not okay because I'm getting hit by the most like BS things. I don't know how that hit me. God. Yeah, let's take a little break, Sundra. I love pinball back in the day. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah, shoot, kill, shoot. You're bloodthirsty, huh? I'm not a great shot, but I like a good adrenaline hit. Uh -huh. Ooh. Play aggro, I'll cover you. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> you play for a while. Eventually, you run out of tokens. <laughs> oh, okay. Sunder smirks. Good game. Oh, GG's. <laughs> okay, I like that little bit of dialogue. Okay, but that's good to know. That means that any of these, any of these like point of interest in the mall, that means that the dialogue is essentially the same, but you can explore the different options. I like that. The different, the different uh, responses. I like that a lot. Hey, I got fabric. That means I can make clothes. Wee. <laughs> oh, what's in this? Oh, oh, I'm rich. Oh hell yeah, money. Death. Pain. <laughs> no. <laughs> Okay, Thunder, I'm gonna need your strength in this shit. I fucking rolled. Oh! 
come on. That's my bad, though. That's my bad. Okay, we're good. We're good. <laughs> Oh my god. Shit, man. Are we done? Okay, let's just go to the next floor. <laughs> Ooh, our love rank is going up. <laughs> Ooh, deeps. Oh shit. Oh, <gasps> there's a sword! The gate's closed, maybe you can find a key nearby. Oh shit! Another boss battle, all right. All right, look at us. Shit. Out of my fears. Ugh. Ow. go hell yeah I did good I did good <laughs> I didn't breathe but I did good <laughs> Ooh, we gotta beat a new sword it looks more like a lightsaber though but we gotta beat a new sword hello hi you find a strange gadget it fits in your hand smoothly but you're not sure how to use it huh. weird there's a button on the side. Mm-hmm. Oh! Ooh. That looks pretty sexy, though, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> you press the button, and it... And it's fire flares to life. Oh! Are you a man or, or, or woman? Oh! Oh! Hey, whoa, I feel slow, like I took a really long nap. Uh-huh. Maybe I have a screw loose, literally. Uh-huh. Who are you both? What day is it? It's, it don't worry about the day. <laughs> you tell them what you know. I've been down here two weeks. Well, thanks for waking me up. I'm seven. Hi, Seven. You're a cutie. <laughs> Seven's cute. Will I crush on him? Maybe. Will I thirst him? Probably not. But he's cute. I should probably let my agent know where I've been. Um, want to fight monsters first? Nah, you look like you have enough help for now. No, 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 no. Let's, let's fight. That'll be awesome. You'd be welcome to jump in, but you do you, ma'am. See, Sunder yeah. is approving. No comment. Oh god, okay. <laughs> but I know I owe you one. How about a coffee later? Sure. Uh-huh. You're also welcome at La Rosa anytime. Seven leaves you and return to your exploration. Okay, I'll see you soon, Seven. <laughs> Boy. Now we got upgraded TV, upgraded mobs. Oh Jesus, bro! I do no damage to you. Yeah, you and me both. Let's do this. I'll throw you in the water, bitch. <laughs> I'll short circuit your ass. Oh jeez, this is crazy though. The deeps. It's ready to give me like a ton more money though. The seventy dollars is not gonna work. Sunder watches the waterfall mesmerized. Would you like to offer a gift? Do I have any gifts? No, I don't. Are you sure? Yeah. You decide not to give a gift right now. The sound of the water is almost musical. Not very good for dancing though. More like trance. You think they have a music store? 
I guess those don't really exist anymore. Hmm. But malls aren't popular anymore either, and here we are, so anything's possible. Oh, of course. <laughs> oh, well, let's keep going. Of course, Sunder, let's keep going. <laughs> Alright, let's check what's down here. Oh, we have this nice, this nice little L-shaped door. Oh my god. Uh, bro! Wait, 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 time out, time out, time out, time out, whoa, 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 whoa. Wow. <laughs> that was a lot, but that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. I, I didn't want to stay, spend too much time in the dungeon. Oh, level nine. Oh, level 10. Okay. <laughs> I was just waiting for 11. <laughs> no, but we did good, we did, we did good, we did, we did good. It's not bad, it's not bad, good progress, good progress. As you leave the dungeon, Hmm, you know, something's not right. Why would that sword have slept for weeks? Um, maybe he was under a spell? Maybe. Either way, let's keep an eye out. I'll let you know if I see or hear and anything. All right. It is weird, though. You head home. Oh, hi, Seven. Hello. Ah, Seven's such a cutie. So Seven is going to be in the special bestie zone, the eye candy zone. <laughs> That's where Seven will be. <laughs> Thanks again. Doctor says any damage I took will heal itself soon. Um, <clears throat> Want to hang out? Could do. Doesn't matter. Ooh, want coffee? Coffee's fine. It'll be at Kix. <gasps> okay, awesome. I'll see you at Kix and see Jesse. Okay, you and A plus one are invited to my 4th of July BBQ tomorrow. Oh, you fucking Jesse, I swear. Jonah really wants to meet you. And he doesn't mind if you're dating someone else. No big deal. You gonna invite anyone? Uh... You see, I feel bad because I told Sunder that I want to be exclusive and all this stuff and I don't want him to be seeing other people, but then here I here I am with my thirsty ass about to see some other dude. <laughs> this is so complicated. Um You know what? No, because then I don't want Sunder to be like, but you told me that I was your sword and all this stuff. I'd rather him not know. So nah. Nah. Okay, well, if you change your mind, tell them to bring something. See you tomorrow. All right, bye-bye, Jesse. See you tomorrow. Yeah. Anyways, let's go ahead and have some coffee with Seven. All right, and we go to Kix. Bam. You see Seven sitting alone poking at his phone. Oh, it's you. Hey. Oh, hey, hi. Seven puts away his phone and looks at you expectantly. So, there's an awkward silence. <laughs> uh. What's so, what's your favorite Blade Generation album? Um, what's Blade Generation? Seven smiles as if, as if at a joke. Oh. Wait, you're serious. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, Seven. Apparently my character doesn't know who that is. Uh, Blade Generation is my band from Korea. Double Platinum, no big deal. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Um, <clears throat> you are, you are, see, I knew it because he had a flair to him. I'm like, he has that K, that like Korean flair to him. Okay, um, that was unexpected. You don't listen to a lot of music, I guess. Too busy? Do you watch net TV? Um, I like to chill out. Hmm. 
It takes hard work to achieve anything, though. Doesn't it? Not really, no. You, you, you can still be chill and still, you know, like, work hard and achieve your shit. Oh, well, since you don't know Blade Generation, I guess you don't need an autograph. Would you like to offer a gift? Nah. You decide not to give a gift right now. <laughs> so we're done here, then. Damn! That was such a short date. Oh, my God. Okay, Seven, I don't like you. <laughs> what the fuck? Um, Want to meet up again? Seven shrugs. I'm pretty busy. I have to prep for our comeback in the fall. Ugh. I don't know if I can risk going back t to the dunge. My agent would sue if I got any scars. He takes a sip from his coffee and makes a face. Something wrong? Yeah, I mean, not really, but Ugh. they used the wrong milk. What kind? I asked for oat, but... I'm not going to complain, that's for sure. Not my kind of thing. What? Wait, why is she coming over here? Shit, cover for me. The cashier approaches your table nervously. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, this is getting so weird. Okay, because now all of the love interests are starting to like bump into each other. <laughs> this is so weird. What is up? I forgot your name. <laughs> the cashier approaches your table nervously. Mm. Olivia, your name's Olivia. I totally remembered that. <laughs> hey, um, sorry to bother you, but you're Seven from Bleed Generation, aren't you? I'm Olivia. Seven looks at you and shakes his head slightly. There's a slight panic in his eyes. Uh, you're mistaken. Uh huh. No way, I know that bias record space anywhere. Wait, that means. Oh. Oh. My. What? God! What? Oh my god, oh my god! Play Generation is in Corona! Bitch, I just said that's not him! Huh? Maybe even Sung Woo is here too. No, 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 he's not. Seven's face closes, becoming carefully blank. <laughs> Olivia r rushes away, typing on her phone excitedly. Are are you okay? Yeah. W w w whatever. Oh god. Can't come here anymore, I guess. Thanks for having my back, though. Later. I guess there's still the dunge if you want to. The monsters won't bring paparazzi. <laughs> oh god. Oh, thank you for the love ring. Low key, watch him be like the most OP weapon. And it would be just ideal to build his ass. <laughs> I swear to God. Seven slouches out. Met by an expensive looking car outside. Oh shit, you head home. Oh damn. Who do you invite to Jesse's BBQ? I said I wasn't gonna invite anybody. I could want to go there by myself to scope it out. Because I feel like if I invite Valeria, she's going to take it as like a date. If I invite Isaac, Isaac is going to be like, oh, ho, ho, enchanté. <laughs> enchanté. And then Sunder is going to be like, but I thought that we were supposed to be one with each other, blah, 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 blah. And then he's going to open up the subject like, oh, well, if you want to meet other guys, then I should meet other girls too. It's like, no. <laughs> no. So, um... God, I feel so bad. <laughs> God damn. Nobody. By myself. I'm going by myself. You decide to go alone. Yes. On the way over, you pick up something to share. Um, cheesies. Because who doesn't like bootleg Cheetos? Or bootleg Cheez-Its? <laughs> you worry it's not... You worry it's not good enough. Will Jesse laugh at you? You buy it anyway. If nobody else wants them... You could eat the whole bag yourself, true. You close your eyes for a moment and hope tonight goes well. You ring Jesse's doorbell, but nobody answers. You hear the sound of talking and music from the backyard. You go around the back to investigate. Hey, it's my coolest cousin. What's up, Jesse? Everyone be friendly, okay? Yeah. <laughs> 
A few strangers look at you curiously and raise a glass. Your cheeks feel warm. Oh, you brought cheesies. Samantha goes nuts for these. All right, we, we made a good choice. Cool. <clears throat> the grill's hot. You're here. Everyone's, e e everything's going according to plan. Mm. I gotta get the burgers ready. In the meantime, meet Jonah. Here you go. Talk. <sighs> okay, I'm actually kind of nervous to see what Jonah looks like because he said buff and sweet, but I don't know. Okay. Jesse pushes a stranger towards you with a wink and walks away. <sighs> Jesse. Why? Why are you doing this to me, Jesse? Why? 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 As your cousin, why are you doing this to me? What did I ever fucking do to you? Like, all I ask is for some swords, sword men. Like, I need. <laughs> You gave me bootleg Kurt Cobain. That's what you gave me. Uh, Jesse pushes a stranger towards you with a wink and walks away. Um, hi, I'm Jonah. Shoot, you knew that already. And you're Rose. Yes, that's me. Can you become a sword? No, not, not really. Oh, okay. I'm into swordsmen. Sorry, bye. <laughs> I've already turned off, but I would have given you a chance if you could turn to a sword to probably redeem yourself. No, 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 I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> Jesse said you fight monsters. Is that right? So you're some kind of hero. Um, It's no big deal. <laughs> That's exactly what a hero would say. I'm on to you. Fuck. Fuck no. <laughs> I've been thinking about trying to dunge myself sometime, maybe. Jesse said you wield um weapons down there. I know I said I can I can't become a sword, but I can sometimes be an axe. I don't often do it though. Wait, wait, an axe? Oh, wait. So you are a weapon though. Wait, how do you do it? I just decide to change shape, like clenching a fist. Maybe I'll show you sometime. Anyway, I could definitely, definitely use the money from a gig, but... Uh... You promise we won't hurt anyone? Like, not even animals? Only monsters. And who decides what's an animal or a monster, I wonder? But I don't really have a choice. I wish I wasn't hurting so bad for money. Here's my number. Maybe we can go together sometime. Oh? Or, if you want to hang out, like as humans, I'm usually at the beach. I'll think about it. This is not happening right now. Eric elbows his way into the conversation. Hell, excuse oh. you. Hello. May I kiss your hand? No. Fuck no. Go away. Now, my sweet, that is quite rude. Even if I know you're joking. I am not joking, you fucking creep. Can you go ahead and like scoot your bony ass out of here? Jonah glances between you and Eric. Uh... I don't think she's joking, dude. Well, it's a free country. That's what this holiday is, is about, right? Hmm. And I'll freely decide to leave this party now. Good day. Give my regards to Jesse and Samantha. I must flee. Eric hurries away, hands over. He is definitely the antagonist. If there's an antagonist in this game, it's definitely Eric. He is, is hands down, it's Eric. I don't give a fuck. Eric, Eric needs to go. <laughs> Eric hurries away, hands over, hands over his ears. Are are you okay, Rose? Eric really gets to you, huh? I hate him. I hate him with all my heart and soul and every fiber of my being, sir. He realized you're lightly trembling with suppressed feelings. Where did your confidence go? I'd, 
I try to like everyone, but sometimes it's hard, huh? Eric, J Jesse, Eric, and I went to school together. He doesn't have a bad heart. I think he's just lonely. You sure? Because... You sure? That doesn't give him the right to be a jerk, but I wish he would grow up. He'll never understand. Uh... Maybe not. I have to hope so, though. The evening goes by surprisingly quickly with lively conversation. You eat burgers and grill... Ooh, grilled portobellos. Ooh, that's yummy. Steadily <laughs> walking the line between satisfaction and gluttony. At one point, the music is turned down and everyone quiets watching the fireworks. As the sky explodes, you feel a wild romantic energy surge through you. You have to... We're not kissing Jonah. What the fuck? Resist. What the fuck you mean kiss Jonah? Resist because we got Sunder. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> You take a deep breath, then another. Then impulse passes and the fireworks end. Someone turns the music back on. <laughs> Those are some explosions, all right. Now, back to partying. See ya. All right, see you later, Jonah. You say goodnight to Jesse and Jonah and shuffle home. See, Jonah was sweet, though. He's still in my bestie zone. But he is, he, he is in that bear category. And he's pretty cute. He's pretty cute though. So how is the BBQ so romantic, right? Nah, 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 nah. Well, in my opinion, I've tried my best and you seem like you're happy. So honestly, I consider my job here done. You met some great folks, gone on some dates. I think I can back off and let you do your thing for, for the rest of that summer. Is that okay? More dates, please. More men. Give me more men. Uh, okay, I can keep an eye out, but no promises. I've got problems of my own, you, you know? Love you, cuz. Talk to you later. What do you mean you got problems of your own? You're the one who fucking offered- You're the one who dragged my ass over here, offered me to go on dates, and said, like, Oh my god, I got so many dates for you. Don't worry, I got you, cuz. And then now you want to back off when I'm actually demanding more dates from you because you're encouraging me? Okay, whatever. Fuck you, Jesse. <laughs> god. Anyways. <laughs> Never going to kicks again, so hope you have other ideas. Um, the beach? Eh, I don't know. I'll think about it and get back to you. All right, Seven. See you later. And hi, Jonah. Nice meeting you at the BBQ. It'd be fun to talk more sometime. If you ever come back to town in the fall, maybe I, I can show you some surfing spots on the island. Uh, what island? What? Verona Island? The ferry is under repairs right now, though. Oh, well. I hope your summer in VB is the best. Thanks, bestie. I think we'll meet again somehow sooner than we think. Right, okay. Yeah, thanks, bestie. Thanks, goodbye. <laughs> oh, God. What do we even do now? I kind of wish we could go shopping. I kind of wish too, but we we can't. At the face, this asshole again! Oh my god! Ten times better this time, bitch. Fuck you. Oh, but I got a recipe. Nice. I got a new Zine recipe. Hell yeah. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Or not. Okay. Ooh, ooh, cash. Oh, oh, fuck yes. Oh, that was cash. That was straight cash. Hell the fuck yes. All right. What's the challenge? Oh my god, fuck off! Owie! There we go. 
Yeah, um, I don't think I'm gonna continue the challenge. Can I just quit? Can I? Oh, fuck me. <laughs> oh, this is worse. Rigged. Fuck this shit. Fuck you. That shit was so rigged. God. Jesse said he's worried about you and one of your boyfriends. He wouldn't tell me why though. Are you okay, sweetie? What do you mean worried about me and one of my boyfriends? Wait. I've been thinking a lot and I've decided what? For sure? I don't want you to die. <laughs> oh, Sunday, you're so sweet. <sighs> Not planning on it, of course. <laughs> yeah, so wanna hang out? Summer nights are, are the best. No death allowed. <laughs> all right, right, before before I say yes, before I say yes, um, before I say yes, mom, mom, where's mom? There you go, mom. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm totally fine, Mom. Jesse doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. I'm sure you can handle it, but maybe I can help? What's wrong with the boyfriend, I mean? Um. How do you know it's love? <laughs> it's different for different people. Are you happier when the person is with you? Do they help you? Do they help make you into a, a better person? If so, maybe keep them around. If not, move on. Good luck, other sweetie. Thanks, mom. Hearts. Oh, thank you, mom. God, I love mom in this game. <laughs> All right, Sunder. Um, yes, yeah, let's hang out. Okay. Meet you at the beach at nine. <gasps> Ooh, are we gonna see Sunder in a bathing suit? Yes. Oh shit. Meet me. Can can we go to the beach now? Oh, yes, Sutter, yes, let's go to date, yes. Ah. <laughs> hey. You didn't tell me Mandy was gonna be there, Sunder. Come on. <sighs> Please. You find Sunder and Mandy sitting on a dune. Sunder appears to be drinking. Woo! Are we celebrating? Uh -huh. Yeah, being alive is the best, right? Uh... I wouldn't recommend it. You know, most people are dead, statistically. That's a lot of people. Really, a lot. Sometimes I try to calculate the number of ghosts there should be. Hmm. Even if 1% of people had unfinished business, that'd be millions of ghosts. All kinds of ghosts. Sultans, schoolgirls, fashion designers, farmers, everyone. Ugh. Are you really trying to be more goth than me? Yeah. No, I'm being really anti-goth right now, Mandy. Keep up, oh Jesus. <laughs> I'm saying living is like the VIP section of the universe. Then live it up. Uh huh. Yeah, let's just live it up. That's what I'm. That's what I'm talking mm -hmm. about. Rose, what's a moment in your life when you felt most alive? You spent time chatting, looking over the moonlit ocean. Eventually, there's silence and Mandy clears her throat. I'm getting hungry. You must be too, Sunder. How about a snack? Mandy looks at you curiously. Um. What are you trying to hint at, Mandy? <laughs> um. Sure, a snack sounds good. What kind of food? Whatever. What kind of food? 
I like my food fresh and locally sourced. Verona Beach has a few options. Hey. Cut it out, Mandy. What, you haven't told poor Rose about our little hobby? Wait, what hobby? Ugh. Ugh, Mandy, just go home if you're feeling antsy. Sit yourself, just don't stay out too late. The sun comes up fast in summer. Mandy slinks away in into the evening. Sunder glares after her. Um. Sunder, what, what, what hobby is this? Hmm. Sunder sighs. Apparently at a loss for words. Uh. What hobby, Sunder? Nah. I don't want to talk about it. Not right now. A cold breeze comes in from the ocean, chilly against your skin. Well, I do. Um. Fine, we, I, I won't pressure him, I, I won't pressure him. But I'm, I'm nosy as hell, fuck! <laughs> Why am I so nosy? I, oh, I wanna know, I wanna know. Okay, l let me act all cute though, please tell me, tell me, please, please, please. <laughs> please. He pointedly ignores what you said and instead rubs your arm gently. Cinder's hands aren't any warmer, but the friction helps you relax a little. Fine, Cinder. Uh, uh, okay, fine, fine. You can tell me another time, Cinder. That that's. Mm, you can. <sighs> you can tell me another time. I. <laughs> takes off his jacket and settles it around your shoulders. Aw, thank you. You're so sweet, Sunder. I appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> Ooh, new equipment. Go check it out in the apartment. Ooh, I got cool shades. Let's go. <laughs> Here, I also got you a, a, a little gift. I always wake up too late to use them. Aw, thank you for the shades. I will use them. I'll mm. use them. I guess I still have some things I'm not ready to talk about. It's not to do with romance, though. There's no kissing or sex involved, okay? It looks like he... It looks like he started to shiver. Let's just f forget about this, and I'll walk you home where it's warm. Aw, oh, thank you, Sunder. You, you walk together through Verona Beach until you arrive at your building. Oh, wow, thank you so much, Sunder. <laughs> you give him his jacket back. He puts it back on back on gratefully. I know you're probably furious with me right now, but just listen for a second, okay? <laughs> Before Mandy ran her mouth, I had so much fun with you. Oh, I had fun with you tonight too, Sunder. <laughs> Usually around now, I get the summertime blues, but with you, I feel so alive. Yes, bleeding does more damage. Fuck yes. Ooh, we're gonna shred in the dungeon, Sunder. We are going to fucking shred. Like, all my dark thoughts don't weigh me down. And honestly, I don't want to go back to my lonely apartment. It's like a crypt. I'd kick myself later if I didn't ask. Can I come? Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh, oh, um. <coughs> Please do. You don't have to fucking ask. You could just drag and drag my ass inside my own home. You don't even have to fucking ask. Yes, please do. Can I get a few kiss? <laughs> you linger on the street corner before leading him upstairs. Oh shit. Okay. <laughs> he waits outside the apartment politely until you invite him in. Oh, and he's such a gentleman. Oh my god. Wow, I like your plays. You have good taste. I'm a little nervous, but I just want to treat you right. <laughs> I can't take this. This is too much. <gasps> this is too much. He spent the evening together. He's athletic and attentive, singularly focused on making you feel good. Oh. <laughs> you notice his skin and blade remain strangely cold to the touch no matter how long you cut it. No matter how long you cuddle. So what's that hobby, Sunder? 
it out. Ooh. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. I didn't mean to press it. No, 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 no. I didn't mean to press that option. I didn't mean to press the option. I'm so sorry. He freezes in place suddenly getting up and pulling his clothes back on. I'm so sorry. Can't wait till next time, but got something to do tonight. Later, hotness. I didn't mean to. No, 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 no. I ruined my night. No, 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 no. I didn't mean to. Fuck me. <gasps> Fuck. Wait, wait, wait. No. Can I? Can I? Option. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. What I meant to do. <laughs> I didn't mean to press. So what was that hobby? What I meant to do is kiss more. That's what I meant to do. You snuggle up and kiss a few extra dozen times before he staggers to his feet, pulling his clothes back on. <laughs> Can't wait till next time, but got some things to do tonight. Later, hotness. Okay, later, Sunder. Goodbye. <laughs> he lets himself out and you soon fall asleep. Oh, oh, yes. I just wanted to say, oh, yes, yes. You're cooler the more I get to know you, so... Thanks? Not welcome, Sunder. You are very welcome. <laughs> you too. You too, yes, you too. Let's dunge. Oh, fuck yes, let's dunge. Fuck yes, let's dunge. Jesse tells me you have a very attractive friend. I don't want to... I don't want to pry. But is it, uh, serious? Um, I have a very attractive friend. You mean Sunder? If you're talking about Sunder, um, I don't know yet. Okay, okay, no pressure, no pressure. I'm just happy for you. Oh, thanks, Mom. Remember, live by the sword, die by the sword, which I guess is a saying about marriage. Okay, Mom. Anyway, have a good day, sweetie. All right, thank you, Mom. I appreciate it. But anyways, let's go ahead and end this here. That was definitely the perfect end for this session. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this amazing episode. I had loads of fun. I had tons of fun, actually, um, with this. And oh my god, we took Sunder into our room. <laughs> we took Sunder to our room. <laughs> anyways thank you guys so much for dropping by hope you had an awesome day and i we see you in the next episode bye bye